play Sonic the Hedgehog. Spring Yard Zone. Why is it called Spring Yard Zone? Well, doesn't seem to be much of a yard, but there are some springs. So yeah, that's probably why it's called Spring Yard Zone. If I had to guess. Yeah, there's also... Ah! Ah! Yeah, um, these blocks that move up and down can slow you down a little bit. Notice, the game is slightly faster now. Hooray! Right, anyway, so, let's see if I can do this. If you jump on that, and jump, you can get up here, which will take you up to a higher part of the level. Where you first encounter the spiked balls, where they go round slowly. If there's two, they go slow, and if there's one, it goes fast. That's generally how it works. We'll find the fast ones later on. Um, like I said previously, I generally prefer to take higher routes in levels. Um, just more of a personal preference from... Generally, when low down, there's more of a chance of falling in pits and stuff. And as we kind of found out from Green Hill Zone, um, pits aren't my best friend. Here's one that moves faster. Yeah, so, ah, that was stupid. Get up. More springs, who would have thought? Huh? Springs in a zone called Spring Yard Zone. There's more springs here. Right, um, ah! Yeah, these, these bad nicks. Generally the best way to deal with them is just to spin into them. Um, that seems to be the best way to deal with it. With these, these blocks, you've got to be quite careful not to run too soon because I've been squashed before by just trying to run through it when it wasn't wide enough. So, yeah, that's the end of Act 1. Now, we shall head into the special stage. Or zone. I should call them special zones. It's a habit, though. Okay, so this is the fifth one. Figured that out nice and easily. <laughs> no, I said not that way. Jeez, he doesn't listen to me, does he? Right, okay, come on. Yeah, down there. Well done. Good hedgehog. Oh, if you hit the ups, it moves faster. Um, now I'm trying to... Okay, that way. And if you hit the downs, it moves slower. Simple, really. And if you hit the R's, it reverses. I should have explained all this in the first one, really, but I didn't. But that's the fifth emerald out of six, so we're doing quite well. Let's just hope I don't start mucking up on the last one. <sighs> spring Yard Zone, Act 2. Oh, but there's a spring. Ah, yeah. That, I always do that. It's just fun. Ah, I didn't mean to hit it that time. Down, whee! Bonk. Bonk. Oh, almost done. Wait for them to walk away or crawl away. <laughs> um, yeah, that wasn't funny. So by now you've probably got the gist of Spring Yard Zone. Nice little catchy music. Lots of springs. And floaty platforms. I ran too far. Okay, I'm really not doing too well here. Right, that's better. It's better. Why am I going backwards? You may wonder. Well, there's a little secret over here. 
invincibility and some rings, isn't that nice? So, just try and get through the rest quickly. You're invincible, so, you know, nothing's going to hurt you. Uh, this, part, this point, this part, whichever. As a kid, I used to get stuck. Um, sometimes, now, I do. Okay, you know, I should probably try and get out now. Because they're just bouncing around. Um, generally, you just want to bounce on a certain one over and over again, like that, until you get up there. It's not too difficult now. But yeah. This game was hard as a kid. Ah, duck. I don't like getting spike balls in the face. It's not really a hobby of mine. And yeah, I wasn't meant to hit them all then. But, what you gonna do, huh? Ooh, I just realised what I said. But it doesn't matter. I think we are near the end of this one, I'm not sure. Oh, hold on. This point. Ah, no! I don't ever seem to be able to do it anymore. If you jump at the right point, you go up the top, and then you have lots more rings instead. But anyway, that's the end of Act 2. I shall now save before going into the special stage because, you know, it's a nice cut off point in case I accidentally go over.